soon there will be more security resource officers in the WFISD in the schools here, and they'll also have more tools to use. Yeah, this comes after the WFISD School Safety and Security Committee met today and discussed these new safety plans moving forward. Markeisha Jackson was at that security meeting, and Markeisha, what new measures can parents and students expect to see in these schools soon? Daryl, members from the committee say moving forward they hope to add at least three more full-time security resource officers to the schools in the district, as well as work on many ways to better serve students on campus and off. Making sure each and every student is protected inside of school doors is the number one concern for the WFISD Safety and Security Committee, a team that Ashley Thomas is a part of. The safety of our um, staff and of our students is is always at the top of our priority list for the district and we're always looking at ways to improve uh, the safety in, on our campuses. Hiring three additional security resource officers to campuses as well as providing those officers with additional training and tools such as tasers are all things Thomas alongside the rest of the safety and security team say will keep them prepared for the unexpected. She says additional help from parents is crucial. As a parent your child's safety is the most important thing and um, these days, it, it, it does get you know, nerve-wracking because you see things on the news of you know things that happen at, at schools. And so, um, for for us, we want parents to be involved. Parents are are at their child's campus. They drop their children off. They might see things um, from a parent's perspective. There are several programs in place to help promote safety on school campuses, such as the Crime Stoppers Safe School Institute. But Thomas also says online safety for when children aren't on campus is important as well. When it comes to like technology and um, all of our online systems, we have um, safeguards in place there to monitor um, self-harm or um, drugs, uh, just different different things like that that goes directly to the uh, counselor at the campus so that they're able to, to monitor the situation. And with the two new additions of Memorial and Legacy High School, there's no better time than now to be assuring the safety measures in place are standard enough to be carried over into the new schools. That's one of the most exciting things I think about the new schools is the fact that we're able to um, build, have the newest um, safety measures out there um, and, and have those in place at the new campuses. Continuing to protect everyone on campus, especially now. The committee hopes to have those new resource officers and tasers by early next year. Okay, Markeisha, sounds like a good thing for the WFISD. Thanks so much for that story.